What is up, guys? It is Saturday, November 16th. This is exactly one week before Simply Clean, which is in Daytona, Florida, which is November 23rd. I am loaded up. I am headed uh, to Chattanooga, Tennessee tomorrow morning, most likely. Since I'm going by myself, I've decided to budget a little bit more time for this trip. Since it's such a long haul from New Hampshire to Florida, normally takes me about 26 hours or so driving straight, you know, with stops and fuel and all that sort of stuff from my house uh, to about Daytona or Orlando. So my friend Nikolai puts on the Simply Clean show. I normally try to fly down each year. In 2016, my friend Frank Gatto and I actually trailered two of our cars down in his two-car enclosed trailer. I brought my E23 7 Series down and he brought uh, one of his Infinities down. Normally I fly down because it's so far, but it's always, uh, it's, <laughs> It's always uh, like the last show of like the East Coast basically, but since it's Florida, it's fun to get down there because it's Florida. And as you can see here, we have snow on the ground already. And as I speak, it's in the teens, low 20s at the warmest right now. So it's unseasonably cold this time of year up here in New Hampshire. So I am ready to head south. And what I'm doing after the show is I'm headed back up to Chattanooga with Mason and the whole Chattanooga crew. Uh, with my new enclosed trailer with the Corvair in that trailer and I'm leaving everything in Chattanooga and flying home from there the night before Thanksgiving So basically in March when they put the Riverside show on in Chattanooga, I'll have my car there uh, I fly out to that show every spring as well. It's usually the weekend of my birthday But here in March uh, is we're still buried in snow and salt and everything's still kind of put away in winter storage so I've never had a car at Mason's show so my truck trailer and car will be in Chattanooga for the whole winter I won't have to worry about keeping them uh, shoveled off because uh, we get a lot of snow up here so this is Simply Clean 2019 this is the 11th year that Nikolai's put this show on and yeah real excited to get down south and see uh, all my southern friends again so here we go guys so I've done a terrible terrible job uh, documenting the drive down to Tennessee I made the 18 hour haul straight to Knoxville uh, super tired but the day's been awesome the truck was running great I stopped for fuel outside Knoxville about an hour and a half left to go to Chattanooga to where Mason and Carly are and when I started the truck back up my alternator started to scream and then my battery light came on and the alternator went complete so it's a Sunday night, and by being lucky, there's an auto zone down the street from Mason in Chattanooga that has an alternator in stock for this truck. Uh, I didn't bring all my tools with me because the truck's staying in Chattanooga all winter, so I only brought like some, some hand tools. I brought like just some sockets, some screwdrivers, some simple stuff, and just kind of rolled the dice. Luckily, I've got everything I need. Uh, I've got the alternator half off now. Mason went to pick the alternator up. Our good friend Benny who lives in Knoxville, was in Chattanooga visiting them today and is literally headed home now. So he's headed here with the alternator. Uh, I'm gonna have this thing off here in the next minute or two. Gonna meet up with Benny in the next hour and a half and uh, get the new alternator in, get the thing running, hopefully no other issues. <laughs> Make the last hour and a half haul to Chattanooga and sleep. So it's been a long day. I got up at two o'clock this morning uh, and hit the road before three. So it's been a long day. But the best thing about this scenario, that's right, I'm at a Waffle House. And there's a Days Inn across the street, so could be worse places to be broke down, that's for sure. So the lighting's pretty dim in here, but got the belt off, got everything unhooked, got one more bolt to take out, then the alternator's on its way out. Benny's on his way now, alternator is in hand, 
So I'll have this thing out by the time he gets here. Gonna have a waffle next door here at Waffle House by the time he gets here. And uh, should be able to put this thing right back in and hopefully no other issues. Okay, so Benny is here. He met up with Mason. Mason picked it up from AutoZone. Alternator is in. Super easy on these GMT 400s. They're literally right on top. They're three bolts. The tensioner is like a ratcheting tensioner. So all you got to do is put like a breaker bar or a socket on it and just pull it down to relieve tension on the belt. It comes right off. And uh, old one's out, new one's in. We're going to start it up. Hopefully she's charging and uh, get the heck to Chattanooga and go to sleep because it's been a long day. But yeah, huge thanks to Benny for bringing that out. He already lives in Knoxville, so it yeah, worked out perfect. That he was, convenient. yeah, he was already coming here from Chattanooga, so. And we'll be in Simply Clean, staying in the same place in like three days. Yeah, exactly. We're so, all staying in the same house yeah. in Daytona, anyway. So, um, yeah, it worked out perfect because Mason was gonna drive out here, and it was already late, and I felt bad about that. It's not throwing a battery light, so I guess, I guess we're good. Perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's been a long day. That sounds way better than the old one did. <laughs> the old one was making some more. Yeah, actually, since they're rolling, that's on camera. Especially with the truck running. But that is not supposed to turn that hard. <laughs> so, yeah, that was definitely the failure for sure. All right, it is Monday morning. Uh, Mason and I have already gotten uh, breakfast. Oh yeah, this is Mason's, uh, yeah, this is Mason. <laughs> we did a Chattanooga uh, trip vlog, but we um, we already got breakfast. We are heading uh, to get another coffee and then heading down to his shop in Dalton, Georgia, which is like 45 minutes from here. We're gonna take my truck, trailer, and car down to the shop as well. There's a few things on the Corvair. I'm just gonna kind of tidy up while he finishes prepping the GX. And then we're going to hopefully tomorrow get down to Coral Works where his IS is getting a fresh 1J turbo five speed, right? Not a six speed? Yeah, it's a five speed. Uh, I did a manual swap last year, but now it's gonna be, it's a different better transmission that's going in it now 154 you said yeah r154 yeah toyota trans we're down in dalton georgia at mason's shop at the moment and we're about to go to get lunch and it's super super nice out so he basically convinced me to unload the corvair so we could take that <laughs> to go get uh to go get lunch so we're about to hit the streets of dalton georgia in the corvair it's beautiful down here it's really not even long sleeve weather it's it's t-shirt weather and that is a far cry from what I just left in New Hampshire because it was eight degrees, 10 degrees when I loaded this thing up the other day. Fahrenheit, by the way, for all you European friends. All right, guys, it is uh, Tuesday. We just picked up Mason's new trailer. He just picked up uh, an aluminum car trailer. A little jealous because uh, my father has a steel open trailer that I use everywhere and it's pretty heavy. Better than no trailer, but yeah, he picked up this really sweet single car aluminum trailer. I'm picking up my enclosed trailer tomorrow down in Georgia on our way to Daytona. So we're, uh, we're both buying new trailers on this trip. Big moves. That's something I've always wanted. I know Mason feels the same way, so. We're kind of shifting some things around. I've got the Corvair in his shop at the moment and I'm doing some exhaust gaskets. Mine are blown out and the thing sounds awful. So luckily I was able to get some down here. They're Corvair specific, so nobody stocks them. So I'm gonna do that, uh, get that thing sorted. I'm not sure what's up tonight. Mason's car is still at Koru Works and it's down to the last minute. It's literally down to the wire. They're waiting on a wiring harness. It came in today and we're trying to leave tomorrow morning. So they're wiring the car. Someone's, someone's detailing the car as they're wiring the car. <laughs> It's literally like a team effort to get that thing done. So if all goes to plan in a perfect world, we're going down to Georgia this evening to get the car or worst case, hopefully worst case scenario is picking the car up tomorrow morning on our way uh, down to Daytona.
we just packed up his GX and got basically everything uh, sorted out in there. He's hosting the uh, after meet of the show. I'm probably I've probably said that already. So we've got his pop up tent, all their merchandise, and uh, everything he's going to need for that. He's already picked up his aluminum trailer, which you've already seen, and. I basically worked on the Corvair. I got some exhaust gaskets in that and snapped the flange off my exhaust manifold. So I tried to tighten up the other side to compensate and then that side snapped off too. So the way this car is set up, it's uh, basically a boxer motor. It's a flat six, three and three opposed from each other. And so there's two exhaust manifolds that go straight towards the front. And then we've built, my dad and I built a custom exhaust in the car where it's got true duals. So uh, each manifold comes out to a 90 degree bend to a cherry bomb, like glass pack muffler to a turn down. So basically what you're hearing when you hear this car uh, is two three cylinder sounds basically. So one side is what I snapped the exhaust flange off of and there's no fixing it. You need a whole new exhaust log is what they call it. It's basically a manifold. You can't get those anywhere except for this Corvair place that's up in my neck of the woods in Massachusetts. Uh, I've got a parts car, so I've got extra exhaust logs, but they're still on the car and on the motor, and it's just a nightmare to get them off. Anyway, I thought the day was done. I was super upset because I basically went one more turn too tight and the thing snapped right off, and it's my own fault for over-tightening it. So I thought I was going to have to take that whole side exhaust off, and it bummed me out. I've even driving the car in Florida. I've been really looking forward to driving this car on the strip down A1A on the coast. And with one side exhaust and then the three cylinders just like open dump, the thing would just sound horrendous. So I was bumming pretty hard. I didn't want to drive the car at all. So I came up with this like backyard fashioning like fix and basically used four pipe clamps. I ran two on the pipe side of the flange and two on like the exhaust manifold side of the flange and then two to hold them together to pull it tight to the gasket. It actually got it pretty tight and I'm thinking it, it'll leak a little bit, but I, I think it'll stay uh, tight for the most part for the cruising I wanna do. So I'm feeling a little bit better about that. And uh, then Mason uh, just got a text message with a video of his car running and not just running, but backing out of the shop down at Coral Works. So Mason is on cloud nine right now. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, for sure. <laughs> How long has it been that the, they've had the car? Since May? May, yeah, May 1st, we dropped it off. Now, I mean, they're busy. They build a Formula Drift car, and they're traveling all the time. And they exactly they have quite a few other projects going on like at the same time. And I was, from day one, was like, don't rush. We'll get it when we get to it. Yeah. And uh, collecting parts slowly. So uh, It's basically come down to the wire. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're literally leaving tomorrow morning for Georgia, uh, for Daytona, yeah. and picking the car up on the way down. And, uh, yeah, so, like I said earlier, they got the harness in today, hooked the whole harness up. We're detailing at the same time. And, uh, yeah. yeah, so basically they're running they're running it like shakedown runs tonight, basically, mm -hmm. and tomorrow morning to make sure all the little uh, quirks are out of it and all the gremlins are sorted out. All right, guys, I am in Douglas, Georgia. I have picked up my enclosed trailer. I didn't film too much of uh, getting down to Douglas, Georgia, getting the U-Haul trailer uh, sent back, unloading the Corvair first, obviously, and then going to get the trailer. I was running real tight for time, and the trailer place closed at 5, and it, it was like 4.30 when I showed up, so I didn't even bother trying to film anything. I just wanted to make sure I got to the trailer place, got the trailer, and got that sorted out. So now I'm back to Douglas. It was like a 20 minute drive back here. Uh, really happy with how the truck um, tows the trailer. Uh, it's a three quarter ton truck, but she's an old girl. So I was a little worried about how it was gonna handle uh, the trailer itself. The 20 minute drive back here with this trailer empty was awesome. I mean, it towed just like it towed my dad's open trailer. So I'm gonna get the Corvair loaded up, get the weight distribution right and uh, and see how it see how it feels. The truck's not sitting too bad. It's 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 not quite level yet either, which is good. I was hoping I wasn't going to be sitting on my overload springs, and uh, basically on bump stops for the rest of the trip with this trailer. So, this is a big moment for me. I've wanted an enclosed trailer for a long time, and I've never pulled the trigger. So, an update on Mason. Uh, I didn't film a single thing when we got to Coral Works. 
because of the deadline, the timeline uh, sensitivity for getting down to Southern Georgia to get my trailer. We stopped at Coral Works first where Mason's car is and the guys there were finishing up the 1J swap and it was running last night. They sent him a video of it running and backing out of the shop. So everything was down to the wire, but it was looking really good to pick the car up on our way down to Southern Georgia where I was getting the trailer. We're getting a hotel in Vodasta tonight uh, and then finishing up the drive to Daytona Beach tomorrow morning. Um, so basically what I did when we got to Coral Works, I really wanted to film a lot there, their shop, everything they're about, Mason's car getting buttoned up. But basically when we showed up, we basically said hi, I got the chance to see the shop real quick and then I hit the road down here because it was still a three and a half hour drive from there to here and we were running out of time uh, to get the trailer. So Mason was gonna be a couple hours behind me if all went well. Unfortunately, when they were testing the car, it overpressurized and blew the front main seal out and now they're like running around trying to figure that out so long story short mason's four or five hours behind me now so i'm gonna load up the car now get some dinner make the 45 minute drive from here down to valdosta get checked into the hotel and then probably just work on some youtube stuff or uh, see if anyone uh is in the area and wants to hang out so we're gonna get loaded up and see how everything see how everything rides I am in Valdosta, Georgia. Um, I made this last haul by myself. Mason and Carly are currently on their way down from Marietta, which is north of Atlanta. So they're like three and a half hours out. Uh, first hour drive from Douglas, Georgia down here to Valdosta went awesome. The truck seems to be pulling this trailer just fine. Um, the roads I took were like back roads, but here in Georgia, they're straight as an arrow. So I was cruising at like 65. 2000 rpms or so uh you can tell it's towing you know you can i'm in the throttle to stay at 65 but it's handling it well the trailer rides well behind it and uh it's not skating on me um weight distribution feels good so i'm excited to hit the highway tomorrow and maybe cruise around 70 75 and see how it feels and uh yeah feels good i'm really excited this is this has been a long time coming i've wanted an enclosed trailer for so long so I'm happy, I just hope the truck has it in her to uh, make it to Daytona Beach and then all the way back to Chattanooga and then ultimately back to New Hampshire, so. It is uh, Thursday morning, <clears throat> Valdosta, Georgia. Mason and Carly made it down last night. Yeah, their trip, Poor Mason, uh, the Coral Works guys have been working really hard on his car and it just seemed to uh, be dealing with problem after problem with that with that swap. So they drove three and a half hours down here last night thinking they may drive three and a half hours back north to get the car this morning and then another <clears throat> basically eight hours down to Daytona. So it would have been a really long day for them. Turns out they're not too sure about the car and if it will be ready if they go back up there. So they've decided not to take the car and continue on which is only about three three and a half hours from here with me to daytona so um <clears throat> they're getting ready we've had breakfast and coffee i gotta run to tractor supply because i failed miserably at doing a once over on this trailer before i left and it's missing two dust caps on the wheels and i've been slinging wheel bearing grease on <laughs> the hour drive down here so there's a tractor supply down the street gonna get a couple dust caps and uh then we'll be hitting the road for daytona Look at that photo stance. Yeah, I'm trying out this new phone camera. This thing's crazy. <laughs> Mason just got the iPhone 11. I don't have one yet, so I'm jealous. So it's he's, wild. he's like messing it. with that wide angle, <laughs> wide angle feature. So we are in Florida now. I haven't been vlogging much at all. Um, Mason's actually been pretty good about getting me to uh, keep the camera out. 
We're in Florida, truck's doing all right. Uh, she's working double time to do about 70 miles an hour with this trailer. But we are uh, about an hour out of Jacksonville and then about an hour to Daytona from there. We will uh, be stopping for lunch pretty soon and we'll be in Daytona in a couple hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, everything's good so far. I am at uh, BC Racing in Daytona Beach. The truck has made it down to Florida. It doesn't like having this 24 footer behind it, but she's, uh, she's a trooper and she's doing pretty well considering. My friend John and Dan run the wheel end of BC and they've been nice enough to let me drop my trailer and truck off here. Uh, they hold the pre-meet for Simply Clean here and it gets mental here. That's gonna be tomorrow night, Friday night. So I'm gonna leave my trailer here out back and I'll be putting around Daytona for the weekend uh, in the Corvair. So gonna unload. I'll show you guys inside the shop too. They've got a bunch of display stuff in the office and a pretty cool shop out back. Getting a shot of the, the inside of the office. So the Corvair is unloaded. Uh, gonna get the trailer set up out back and probably run and get a coffee. Mason and Carly have taken off. Uh, to the venue where they're holding the after meet, the after party. Uh, they're walking the place with the venue owners there. And uh, so I'm here just getting things sorted out. We'll reconvene at the house that we're staying at later. But gonna hang out with the PC guys for a little bit. Probably go for a cruise with John and his Beetle. I've been excited to uh, get the Corvair down here and, and cruise around with him and his Beetle. He's going to, uh, he's going to shoot the two cars together this weekend, so that'll be pretty fun. He shot my right-hand drive 7 series for Performance BMW magazine when we brought it down for Simply Clean 2016. He's a phenomenal photographer, uh, so I'm excited to see the two cars together this weekend. <laughs> 